Hey ho, Super Zoro, thank you very much for tuning in. Welcome to another Toy Vlog. Today we're starting the day at Smith's. I'm looking for some new Pokemon stuff and potentially some new action figures, so stay with me. Let's go toy hunting first. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this edition of Toy Vlog. So let's do this. Got Loki on the shelves. Interesting. Relatively new. Pokemon. Okay. Gyarados, Venusaur, Snorlax. These are cute. And Charmander. They're tiny. Arcanine, that's awesome. Could be very tempted with a Gengar. Got Gengar back there. Snorlax, Snorlax, Snorlax. Move over it. Oh, we got a Charizard. Heck yeah. Charizard. Snorlax, Mewtwo. Snorlax. Nothing new. I can't come back now. Mandalorian. Nothing new there. We've got the cute battle drive though. These are new. It's a trap. Don't cause me blocked. No. Buzzing wood, yeah. Jesse, Buzz. Wow. That's a big AW version. Yes, my grandma Hardy. Cam Cretaceous Dino escapes. No more. Here's the.
Oh yes, I got him. Oh yes. Broken Matt Hardy in the broken universe. I'm so happy to have that figure in hand. I just need the infamous Brother Nero. <laughs> Oh, I missed the broken universe. That, that was my. That was just brilliant. I, that, that's when I got back into wrestling a little bit. Was when the broken universe kicked off on TNA because that just amused the hell out of me. And when they said they were going to do their road to gold, and then they appeared on WWE and won the tag the tag team championships. They even referenced that later on about their road to gold or whatever, whatever they called it. It's a shame that they're not united and there's brothers on the same network. I would love to see Jeff go across to AEW and do something because WWE just don't use him properly. Such a talented wrestler. Anyway, we got Brother Near. Well, we got, uh, sorry, we got Woken Matt Hardy. Yes. <laughs> um, this is one of the first AEWs I've got. This is only, the, I think, the third wrestler I've got. It's probably going to be the first that I'll probably open up on the channel. Um, not sure if I'm going to give it its own video yet, whether I'm just going to open that when we get home. We'll, uh, we'll decide that in a bit. But I need to go get some lunch. I'm starving. So let's go get some food. Alright guys, as you saw, we got home from Smith's and we did go pick up the infamous Matt Hardy. <laughs> I love Matt Hardy, especially the Broken Universe Matt Hardy. He's so funny. And Brother Nero, yes. <laughs> I miss that era. That was so fun. When he, when he put uh, Jeff Hardy in the Lake of Reincarnation. <laughs> so weird uh, I've always been a fan of the Hardy Boys though so I couldn't pass up my Hardy especially when he looks in this sort of in this sort of look which is kind of kind of a mix of his you know brother Nero and so, not, not brother Nero he gives him brother Nero that's Jeff Hardy uh, his sort of um, broken Matt Hardy kind of look mixed with like his modern look that he goes for at AEW so I'm really excited to have this in hand this is series 4 I believe yeah series 4 of the Unrivaled series um, there's not really anyone else in Series 4 that I want. Um, I am very choosy when it comes to wrestlers. I still want a classic Undertaker. I've still not got a classic Undertaker yet. Although that Triple H and the Rock 2-pack has been catching my attention. The one from the, from the 90s. Before the Rock became the Pebble and became bigger. So, yes, I'm not going to keep in this box, so I'm ripping this bad boy straight out. Yes. It's time for your deletion! Oh yes. Oh my god, is that like a drone thing with his face? Oh, that is so weird. <laughs> right. What on earth is this accessory? I've got like a... It's like a bust. Oh god, that's well in there. Jazzwares did not want you to get that out. There we go. Oh, it's articulated. It actually moves. Interesting. And this is like a drone. It goes tied in there. God, they used a white rope tie on a white plastic product. Are they insane? I wonder how many people have ripped that out and bent the hell out of it. It comes with like a little weird drone. Isn't this fixed to it somehow? To the top. Ah! <laughs> so it's like a weird little Matt Hardy drone. What is that? <laughs> That's nuts. Okay, so we've got a weird little drone. <laughs> All right, but here is Matt Hardy. He looks awesome. And it comes with loads of hand accessories. With all different hands. Oh, they put wraps on the arms so you don't, don't scuff him up. That's awesome. Oh, that cape is quality. Oh, and it undoes as well. So you can take it off for wrestling. Oh, I like that a lot. So obviously this is fully removable for when he wants to be in wrestling attire. Oh, quality. Quality product, that. Obviously, WWE would make you buy both. Um, you would have to buy both with the uh, metal. That's nice. Very pliable plastic too. 
So right now he's got on a pointing finger and a sort of an open palm hand, which I kind of like. But he does have a load of different hand accessories here. Um, we've got like an open palm hand for the opposite arm. <coughs> we've got like a regular gun shooting hand. A closed fist hand. <coughs> I actually think I'm going to go for two open palmy hands. So I can do the... I can do the pose then that's on the box. And they just pop in and out just like Marvel Legends do. <coughs> yes, I want to be able to put his hands out and do the whole... Yes! <laughs> that's so cool! Alright guys, I'm going to take you down to the desk cam to give you guys an up-close personal look at this awesome Matt Hardy. So let's go to the desk cam! Alright guys, so there he is out of the packaging, spinning around on the spinny disc there. That Matt Hardy looks awesome. I love the way I've posed him right now. Got his head sort of leaning back a little bit, both arms out, hands in that upright position. It's like he's giving it the whole, yeah. <laughs> I love the weird little drone as well. That's a very weird little accessory to go with him, but very unique to this kind of character for Matt Hardy. Very different, very weird. Um, but we did get a bunch of hand accessories, which are awesome. We've got so many different versions of the hands. So AEW's figures do give you a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, they really have knocked it out of the park with this Matt Hardy, personally. I do think it's an awesome figure. And um, I definitely am glad to have this in my collection. And I will be keeping it, yes, in my collection. He will never be deleted. Sorry, I'll stop doing that now. <laughs> Guys, what are your thoughts on this Matt Hardy? Let us know in the comments below. Somebody just showed up with a mail. Oh my god! I think it's a new action figure. I can't remember what it is. Well, I think I know what this is. It's from Amazon, so let's open it up and see what it is. But I'm pretty sure I know what this is. But, <laughs> you know, it's me. I order so much stuff. Oh, it's not pulling off in one, which is annoying me. Oh no, satisfaction cancelled. No, they did satisfy and see that come off in one. <laughs> oh, Amazon bubble wrapping. What? Since when did Amazon bubble wrap anything? I was worried because they sent it in one of them little cardboard crap boxes, but oh yeah, it's bubble wrapped. This must be from a private, a private dealer then. Because Amazon don't bubble wrap. Oh yes. You guys know I am a member of the KISS army and when they announced this figure I had to get one. Oh, look at him so it's a BST AXN I'm not sure how you pronounce that BST AXN um, but yes yeah, loyal subject basically and they've made the demon Gene Simmons from KISS with 22 points of articulation the Demon is the blood-spitting, fire-breathing rock and roll monster of KISS, the legendary American hard rock band formed in New York City in 1973. The band's rock anthems, bombastic live performances and iconic face paint and outfits have made KISS one of the world's best-selling bands of all time. You wanted the best! You got the best! The best band in the land! KISS! <laughs> I've seen KISS live in concert when they came round to England the other year and it was awesome. So to have another Gene Simmons figure is amazing. Gene is my favourite member of KISS. Um, I hope they make the, re the rest of the members because I would love Paul Stanley as well. So hopefully we'll see more of these. But yes, he's got swivel bicep, thigh joints, double knees, shoulders, elbow joints, ball joints for maximum posability. Get in the pit and play. We will give this a full review on the channel, guys. Don't you worry about that. I can't wait to play with him. Um, they're also making Lemmy, by the way, from Motorhead, so I'm definitely going to be looking up for that as well. But, yeah, I have to review this on the channel, right? This has to have the full review treatment. I might even sh I might even show this off in the next toy vlog, so... Keep watching, guys, and we may just see him reviewed on here. So just let you know guys, this Sunday I'm tempted to head out to um, York for a day out. I haven't been to York for such, such a long time. In fact, I haven't been to York since lockdown. It's been almost a year since I've been to York City Centre. So I'm going to definitely head out there and do a video while I'm there. So 
the next toy vlog video that you guys will see will be us in York, so that, that should be a fun video. And obviously we can stop and get some lunch out there as well, and I can go toy hunting. Plus there's the comic book store, I've not been there in a long time. Yes, definitely doing York this Sunday. So stay tuned, that video will go out probably Monday, because uh, on Sunday obviously we do the Superstar Sunday show, so the video will probably go live Monday. So stay tuned for that guys, that should be awesome. That, that'll be your next uh, toy vlog video, so stay tuned for that, should be fun. Alright guys, we've got a box here from the Merch Queens to open. This has come all the way from sunny Orlando, Florida. And it's full of mer merchandise from Walt Disney World Resort. So we are very excited to see what we've got in this box. I say that because these boxes, we'll have like ordered things from them like about maybe two months ago now. Yeah. Like a month or so ago. So we, we kind of sometimes forget what's in there. And they've had to split our order into two boxes because we've ordered that much this time. <laughs> so we're not even sure what's in this box. So it's like a surprise for us as well. So let's jump in and open this up. What we got? Everything is, is so professionally packed as well in these boxes, which is awesome. Yeah, and everything we've arrives things that are piece. made out of glass, that's yeah. made out of pop. We've ordered it's mugs always, and all sorts. I mean, it's fun. It's really full and everything's well packaged so nothing's going to get broken in there's a lot of stuff in here <laughs> I think this is one of your t-shirts do you order a t-shirt? I don't know I think you've ordered clothing in some description I can't remember yeah you have so we've got clothing first of all you've got a uh, is that a oh, <laughs> you got that one. Yeah. You got a white Minnie Mouse one and Mickey Mouse one. And then you got a pink, pinky one. Tie dye. Colors of the rainbow. Because these things I can wear for work, and um, my fringe is just at that annoying stage where I can't quite tuck it behind my ears and it just flops everywhere. And it's just. Why have you ordered a 2XL? That was supposed to be for your birthday. Ah, okay. So it's my size, isn't it? So that's the Walt Disney World t-shirt in white and it's like a it's meant to be like a it's like band t-shirt, like concert t-shirt concert because on the back it's got all the rides listed as if they were like gig names. So you got like Cinderella's Castle over in October 1971. Oh, there they, they opened. Yes. Country Bear Jamboree October 1971. That's cool. Yeah, so that's a belated birthday present. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that's a cool present. I forgot I ordered that. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a t-shirt that's, oh no, there's still a mine here. Oh my god, you have to check every little nook and cranny. Yeah, when you have these um, boxes, you've got to unwrap literally everything because it'll be thin. Oh, pop socket! Is this that might socket? stop dropping your uh, phone on the floor. Well, no, this is yours. This is your Annie and <laughs> Alex and Annie <laughs> Bell. <laughs> I've got a pop socket and it's Figment. So, yeah, it, you put them on your phone. And uh, see, it stops you dropping it because I am awful for uh, <laughs> dropping my phone. And especially now that your uh, case is cracked as well. Yeah, so basically, do that look. So they sit flat to your phone and you pull them and they pop out that. It's you hold it like that. See, I've seen other people with like a pop socket and I thought, I never quite got the point of it, but now you show me that. I'm glad I got one. Pop, pop, pop. And they pop out like that. So when you hold your phone, you're basically holding it like that. So you, you put that between your fingers and you don't drop it. Plus it'll help stabilise when you, you know if you like when we do filming, mm. obviously that's gonna help stabilise your hands so you're not gonna really, uh, be like shaking. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's cool, I like that. Now that was actually a really reasonable price. We're only $14.99, which for Disney isn't bad. Yeah, so that works out. And it's a brand what? name, it's a pop socket, it just it's just a brand name. You can pick these up on Amazon for like five or six quid, but I wanted a yeah, proper but, Disney branded one. Okay, say, because the ones you get on Amazon are Disney, they just get it black mm. And then I got myself a Alex and Annie because I like mine. I have about three on here already. So I got Belle because, you know, I like you and it's awesome. And the little uh, Belle chance says, uh, oh, tell your story. I can't read. And it's it, so it going straight on my list. And there is just a Yay! It's my new diffuser. Oh, I forgot 
forgot all about that. <laughs> so this is a water bottle from Galaxy's Edge. It's got a black spire out post written on there. And obviously that's in Daish there down the side. Um, this was twelve ninety five, but it's one of those ones that's got it's got really nice fancy lid in it for a start. And you can lift this part out somehow. There we go. So you lift this part out, and uh, you can put fruit and things inside of it like that. So you can put fruit or mint or cucumber or anything you wanted inside there or tea bags here if you wanted to make iced tea. Would be way a good way to make an iced tea, wouldn't it? Yeah. Is that that you're pulling up? Or is that gone a bit wonky? I think it's just as she pulled it, it's just got a little bit twisted. Mm. I can't tell it's meant to be like that. Oh no, it's not. Yeah, I think it's just got a little bit twisted as you pulled it up. We can fix that. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so that, that goes in first. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, very cool. I think you've got one too. That's a what? Do you get a diffuser or something? Because that's like another mug shaped one. Oh, and then you grab something else to unwrap. Oh. I think it's this good. is all closed. Oh, I know what this is. This is in my eyes, basically. I've got, I've got, I've got something horrible to tell you. It's not yours. It is. It's, not. it's my Ewok. It's not. It could be my Ewok. It's not. What do you think it is? It's my Pua. It's mine. Pua! Ah! <laughs> that is huge. What is that? That is huge. <laughs> it's a big sleeping piggy. Why do you need a big sleeping piggy? You've already got one of those. <laughs> I want one that doesn't talk and snort. Hey. Who's that? Pua. From what? From what? That one's heavy. What? Come in. Mm -hmm. So I also <coughs> got myself an only third sippy cup because I was jealous of the people. Oh, I got the country bear one last month. Yeah, and I got upset and jealous. So I wanted one. So I, I got <laughs> orange bird. And I am obsessed with orange bird. He comes with a little fuzzy straw with his little jam big on. I can't believe you just let, you, you let me carry my open cup of coffee across your pua. You nearly got splashed. <gasps> Do it in that. That's heavy. Don't let you... That's all rubbish. That's all rubbish. Oh. <laughs> Careful, Paige. That's that. Careful, Paige. That's the empty oh, that's empty now. That's it. So all the action figures and things are in the next box then. All my stuff's in the next box. So that ex I've got quite, I think I've got quite a few things over there. I've got quite a few things outside there, I can't remember. Yes. Must have. Because that will explain why the next box is a bit more expensive. <laughs> it's full of my figures, I think. So what's in this bag? Candy. Candy! I mean, it's candy. Oh my god, is that just full of American candy? Yeah. Well, Disney World candy. Do you want to hug the piggy? Yeah. Paige, want Paige wants to hug the piggy. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, these are mine! So when they went to Universal, because there's my little Universal bag, I got myself... Oh yeah! I forgot about them. I got myself some Jurassic gummies. Jurassic so, gummies! And I got myself some Dino Fossil Bars! <laughs> Why? Why do you have two on you? Oh, they need to go in the fridge ASAP. <laughs> They're melting. Yeah. Can you go put them in the fridge? Please. Why? Please. Put them in the fridge, darling. <laughs> And we've got some dino gummies. I'm excited to eat them. They're going to get munched tonight. I'm sorry, them gummies aren't going to survive the night. And I've lost my piggy. You've lost your piggy. Don't worry, it's I still need, another piggy. I need another one. It's still a piggy here. <laughs> oh, yes. These are my treats. These are what I ordered. So this is Mount... When I'm in Florida, I go mental for this stuff. This is Mountain Mix. So this is... Um, Chip and Dale have their own snack company thing, um, a bit like Goofy Candy, and this is basically like trail mix, so it contains peanuts, raisins, milk chocolate candies, almonds and cashews, and literally, when I'm walking around Disney World <laughs> drinking, I always have a bag of this in my pocket, 
Because it is my go-to snack of choice. And I they love don't, it. They don't last the day. They don't last the day. So Lynn's got me two packs of those. <laughs> then, because I can't leave these things alone. And Super Soul Junior. And Super Soul Junior now starts liking to eat them. <laughs> I've got some Mickey pretzels. These are salted pretzels and they are so good. <laughs> and then to round it off, Chippendale Snack Company again. This is the fruit and nut mix. <laughs> So this is take a break with Chippendale snacks made especially for you. From the from the first nibble to the last bite, these snacks are fun to eat for a perfect travel treat. Thank you. Uh, so in these, there's there's dried papaya, banana chips, pineapple, dark raisins, um, coconut, dried cranberries, and almonds. Do you know what I'm disgusting? I love a, I love these sprinkled on my porridge. I'm not gonna lie. Them sprinkled on my porridge is amazing. Yes, are you, su are you surprised? Are you are you guys surprised that the fat guy didn't have proper sweets? Ha <laughs> ha! I like trail mix and crap. <laughs> I'm like a squirrel. See, my what favorite treats is always the Disney s'mores. The Disney s'mores are amazing. So, guys, that was this first box. We've got another box on the way, so we'll be reviewing that as soon as it drops, guys. We'll probably feature that in another toy vlog. So, I hope you're enjoying this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, well, I'm your host, Superstar, and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, may the horse be with you. Bye! Say bye. Bye! I miss my piggy. <laughs>